Hi everyone, it's Danny here and welcome to week four of the Match Day Maths programme. Hopefully you've managed to watch the three lessons that we've done so far and hopefully you've really enjoyed what we've worked on. This week we're going to look all at multiplication and the times table. Remember, all you need for these lessons is some paper, some pens and some colouring pencils for when we start to draw and get creative. We also really want you to keep your work that you can show your family, your friends and your school teachers. So make sure you keep your work and create it and make it into a booklet. The first part of the activities this week, again, is the Super Mover video I want you to go and complete. This week, I want you to go and complete the Times Table Mashup Super Mover video on the BBC website. Go and give it a go and have lots of fun. Well done. Hopefully you're now all really warm and ready to go for today's lesson. For the next part of our activities, I need you to tell me what you think multiplication is. I'm also going to show you the answers, but before I do that, see if you can give it a go. And also, can you write down an example or a sum from the times table? For example, 2 times 2 is 4. What other sums do you know from the times table? Have a go and see how close you can get to my definition. Well done. Hopefully you managed to get a definition that was close enough to mine, but also that all the sums and examples that you gave from the times table were spot on and also the answers were correct. For this next activity, it's going to require you to write down as many different sums as you can from the times tables that I give you. I might give you the two times table or the eight times table. See how many sums from those times tables you can write down within the time limit. But remember, you've also got to write down the correct answer. Give it a go and see how many you can get. Good luck. Well done. Hopefully you managed to get lots of sums wrote down within the time limit. You can maybe try this again tomorrow to see if you could beat your record from today. Next we're going to talk about factors. Factors of numbers are the numbers that we multiply together to get the bigger number. For example, 2 times 3 is 6. The number 2 and the number 3 are then a factor of 6. 1 times 6 is 6. So 1 and 6 are also factors of 6. So in total, the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. These are factors of 6 because we can use those numbers, times them together and reach 6 as our total. I'm going to show you some numbers and I want you to tell me what the factors are of those numbers. Good luck and see if you can get it right. Well done. Hopefully you managed to think of lots of factors for the numbers 10, 12 and 16 I gave you. But also, hopefully you managed to go away and think of some of your own. For the next activity, we're going to use the numbers that the Derby County Football Club players wear on the back of their shirts during a match. We're going to use the numbers from their shirts and the different players that wear them to help us create some sums. For example, Andre Wisdom is number 2, Christian Billick is number 5 and Tom Lawrence is number 10. We know that 2, Andre Wisdom, times 5, Christian Billick, equals 10, Tom Lawrence. I'm going to give you a list of the players along with their numbers. See how many sums you can write down using the players' numbers to work out another player's numbers as the total. Good luck and see how many you can think of. How was that? Hopefully you managed to enjoy using the different numbers on the Derby County Football Club shirts from the different players to help us work out some different sums. But most importantly, hopefully you managed to get all your answers right through using multiplication. For the next activity, we're going to create some more maths attacks cards. We've been doing this really well so far. So for this week, I need you to create me three more cards. The first card needs to be of your favourite book. The second card needs to be of your favourite TV show or favourite film. 
And for the third one, it needs to be of your favourite game, whether it's a games console game or a board game. On these different cards, for the skills, I'm going to give you numbers from the times tables that you have to fill in. For example, if it's from the two times table, all the skill ratings on that one card can only be numbers from the two times table. Two, four, six, and so on. I'm also going to give you some ways to make this easier or harder if you need to. But remember, make sure your cards are super colourful and super cool because we can use them in our games later on. Well done and have a go. How was that? Hopefully you managed to create another three cards, really good, super cool cards that we can use in our lessons and in our games later on. For the next activity, we are going to get you to be in charge of your dream pair. You are going to pick two cards out at a time, your favourite two if you want to begin with. But when you pick two cards out, I'm going to give you a skill rating on that card that I want you to time by the skill rating on the other card. For example, if I choose Tackle, you have to take the numbers that are in the Tackle section on both cards and times them by each other to see if you can get the correct answer. For example, if one of the numbers is 8 and the other is 5, we have to complete the sum 8 times 5. 8 times 5 is 40. If you can get it right, you can move on to the next question. See how many you can get right, but also see if you can come up with your own. Good luck and have lots of fun. How was that? Hopefully you managed to create your dream pair, but also challenge yourselves to push it further and come up with your own. The next part of the lesson is my favourite part. It's now time to play against our partners or friends or families, wherever you are, with our cards. So remember, same as always, you have to compare whose score is higher for the different ratings, for example, power against power. But this week, you can only get the point and it's your turn to carry on if you can get the sum right of one of the numbers times by the other numbers. For example, if I was to compare my score of tackling of 8 with my partner's score for tackling of 5, 8 times 5 is 40. Because I got that right, it is now my turn and I still get the point. Good luck and have lots of fun playing this, but remember, use your times tables to help you get the answers right. How was that? Hopefully you managed to play lots of games against your friends or family, wherever you are. We're coming towards the end of today's lesson, so now it's time to set you this week's home challenge. For this week's home challenge, the first thing you need to do is find a recipe of your favourite meal. It could be any meal that you want, but just make sure it's your favourite meal in the world. Now using this meal recipe, we are going to work out how much of each ingredient we need for different amounts of people that it's going to be served to. For example, some recipes already come prepared to serve two people or maybe four. You need to work out how much of each ingredient we need to serve one person. After you've done that, using the information I'm going to give you, can you use your timetable skills to work out how much of each ingredient we're going to need for the different amounts of people that I give you? For example, two people or four people or even ten people. The final bit and the most important bit is can you have a go at cooking your favourite meal? But remember, stay safe and make sure somebody helps you whilst doing this. Thank you very much for watching today's lesson guys. I hope you managed to do all the activities and I hope you had lots of fun. I'll see you soon.